We have tremendous allocation of smart scientists that are resident here in uh, this country. And the opportunity of creating regional hubs, not only in technology, but also in uh, life sciences, or as we will hear now on uh, technology related with uh, the agricultural part uh, from uh, Nikos Ephthimiadis, who is the president of the uh, agrotechnology group of Ephthimiadis and uh, honorable uh, president of the uh, um, uh, industrialist organization of uh, Northern Greece. Uh, um, it applies also on agribusiness and food and beverage industry, correct? Ladies and gentlemen, the organizers have asked me to uh, present my views on the agricultural economy. And I will definitely do that, but I'm not prepared to go directly to that without touching upon uh, what I believe to be the fundamental issue in this country, that is how do we restart the Greek economy before anything else. I am a great believer of, the, of my country's potential in economic growth, because despite this uh, current uh, devastating crisis, I know that there are quite a few sectors of the economy that are quite unique in this country. Hellenic culture or tourism, the agrofood, the Hellenic diet, the crossroad for logistics, and the human capital, as it was already said, are quite unique in this country, could be quite unique in this country. In this respect, I can claim that uh, Greece is in a better position than many other North European countries to overcome the crisis and maintain, and maintain sustainable growth and prosperity for its people. What one could respond that I am romantic. I am not. I'm just uh, a business, a Greek businessman that based uh, all his success, whatever success he had, was based on respect and credibility to his clients that were paying him and to his creditors that kept financing him. Greece moved into the crisis because our political system, not necessarily the politicians alone, failed to guide the country in, a res in respecting these valuable <coughs> clients that paid their taxes and their social contributions and did not come up with a credible answer to its creditors or its would-be supporters on how to solve our problem. Unless we change this approach, we cannot expect any serious restart of our economy. If we do make a new approach, if the political system decides to look at its clients and its creditors with a viable and credible proposal and convince them that they can deliver, then yes, Greece has indeed better chances than many other North European countries to overcome this crisis, which of course is not only Greek, and is not only financial. I'm not going to, going to go into big, de great details into this because I'm sure we will discuss this in the Q&A uh, se section. In any way, I believe that you will get a fair idea of uh, what my arguments are on this issue based on what I will claim immediately after this on Greek agriculture and the Greek agrofood industry. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, Greece has ideal climatic conditions to produce a very wide range of agro-products of the highest possible quality. The sun, the sea, and the Greek light are the best means of producing high-quality food products. From our vegetables and fruit, from cotton to cereals and tobacco, from dairy products and honey to olives and olive oil, to the Greek wines, its fish and aromatic plants, they sound traditional to you? Indeed, they are traditional.
but exactly these traditional pro crops and products uh, can now make the difference in the Greek economy, considering two new international requirements, a change in the international requirements for quality standards and for health security. Greece has one of the highest numbers of products with the name of origin that have the potential of international bestsellers, provided that we can do something decent in marketing and branding. The brands uh, Greece and Greek Diet can be international winners as they have the potential to develop fast into one of the most powerful tools for Greek exports. Our 25 million tourists every year can indeed be looked after well so that they can be our best ambassadors for this purpose. There are two extremely important changes that support my argument in Greek agriculture. There is a fundamental change, there are fundamental changes in the EU policies that uh, had specifically cut down the flat subsidies that uh, made uh, the farmers have a, 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 more, a better view of, of their practices and more creative thinking to the Greek, Greek agro-food industry. There is also, as you know, have been uh, very important changes in the quality and safety standards demanded by all consumers for all food products. This, has taken, this was taken very seriously by the Greek food processing industry, and there are more and more consumers with special diet needs, the so-called food-sensitive consumers, for, and baby food, etc. Generally speaking, most consumers have developed high and demanding health and safety standards for their food. And this creates a great opportunity for a country that is producing good quality agricultural products. It is very encouraging that the Greek agriculture and Greek food industry are reacting very fast and positively in the above international changes. There are two pillars to support these changes. The so-called contract farming, that mainly targets the, into the needs of the industry that's using agricultural products, and the clusters of Greek agro-food suppliers that mainly target to the international food chains, the supermarket chains. Greece is an ideal area to develop in practice the idea of uh, what we call from farm to fork, top of top quality food products. When we talk about contract farming, for those that are not familiar with the term, is uh, uh, that farmers in our days have to do their homework very well before they plant their, their, their crops on what they want to grow, how to produce it, and who is finally going to buy it, which is something that they did not worry in the past. There are now experienced agriculture, agrotechnology companies that can guide the farmers of how to, what variety to use, of how to protect their plants, and how do they actually meet the standards of their buyer from the industry. We are now producing corn for specific needs. We are producing barley for the beer industry rather than just producing barley. We are producing cotton, cotton for a specific, the specific industry rather than just producing cotton to get our subsidies, etc., etc. When we talk about uh, clusters of agri-food for the supermarkets, then we are talking about a cooperation of all actors of agricultural uh, sector, that is companies, entrepreneurs, consultants, governments, institutions, all that support and work together so that they can actually support marketing of high quality, innovative and branded Greek food products. There already exist many Greek, many success stories of this new approach uh, of contracted farming and cluster cooperation that are exclusively uh, coming from the private sector. It is about time that there is some cooperation between the public and private sector to, in order to take advantage of this obvious potential and comparative advantages. I have some uh, proposals which I will leave for the Q&A answer uh, se sector, but uh, to round up my remarks, Entrepreneurship is, a real, is really in abundance in this country. It is the political system that has to adapt entrepreneurship, I believe. If, the, if Greece, the Greek state, it is the Greek state that needs to change 
its approach to its clients, that is the people that are paying taxes and contributing their social securities, and to its creditors, and convince them that they know how to overcome the crisis and that they have a plan that they can deliver. There is no doubt that the reforms requested by our creditors should be our top priority. Many of us insist that they, these reforms should be done by ourselves anyway, and this, this should be our top priority. We can and we should, however, start immediately with what, uh, and simultaneously with these reforms, of what uh, we have well, what we are good at, no matter how small this is, and especially when we know that Greece is unique in this production capacity and quality. The agro-food se sector, and I'm closing with that, and the, agro uh, and the agricultural industry in general, has a, uh, can offer a substantial push to, a, to growth uh, through a serious increase and create a serious increase of, of Greek exports with new investments and which will also increase consumption. The same is valid for, of course, for tourism, uh, crossroad logistics, and uh, certainly the human capital. Let us all, I believe, let us all do what little we can to get out of this miserable situation in this country, where, where which, uh, I believe we deserve a real comeback, the soonest possible, please. Thank you. Great.